If you haven't voted yet, you still have time to request a vote by mail ballot, but that deadline is tomorrow. November 3rd at 7 p.m. is also the deadline for mail-in ballots to be returned and received. And we know some people prefer voting on election day. It's very traditional. There are also some who plan to vote early. ClickOrlando.com's Brianna Voles is here now to give you an idea of what the waiting will be like at the polls. I have seen those long lines this mm -hmm. week. Yes, there has been some waiting. We have 11 days to go until Election Day, and that means there are still plenty of voting hours. Due to a large voter turnout this year, plus social distancing rules, how long should you expect to wait in line? Well, you should know there are three factors that will largely determine how long it will take for you to vote. And the first of those is where you decide to vote. That could determine your wait time. If a district has a good number of polling places, machines, and polling staff, odds are you won't have to spend too much time in line. But a district that doesn't will likely have you waiting longer. Also, there's a contrast in wait times for those voting in predominantly white precincts as opposed to non-white ones. A 2018 election survey reported that the average voting wait time for precincts with 10% or fewer non-white voters was just over five minutes. In precincts with 90% or more non-white voters, the average wait time was just over 30 minutes. So it's a pretty big gap right there. The second determining factor is gonna be whether you vote early or on election day. Now with the COVID-19 pandemic continuing to be an issue, more people are expected to vote early for this election. We have seen long lines, like Kirsten said, at polling locations on this first week of old early voting, and especially the first day, which is not really surprising. People wanted to get right out there and get it done. That same survey found that people voting in person waited an average of 12 minutes, while those who voted on election day waited an average of just under eight minutes. Now, the last thing that you want to consider is what time of day you decide to vote. That will also determine your wait time. While many people may not have a choice due to their school or work schedules, the survey found that 63% of precincts had their longest lines when the doors open, while 69% had their longest lines within the first hour. There tends to be a lull after the first hour until the 10th hour a polling place is open, which is when people get off work and closing time nears. So if you plan on going to the polls and casting your ballot, it's probably a good idea to go in prepared thinking that it could take a while. And with lines out the door, I know that Troy will agree, make sure to check the weather because you might want to bring the umbrella.